Good evening from the United Arab Emirates. It's a delight to join this magnificent panel of women. I look forward to learning from each of you and walking away as stronger leaders. The onset of COVID-19 exacerbated youth battles with employment, mental health, isolation, and deprivation of celebrating critical milestones like graduations, birthdays, and in-school learning. With increased dose of uncertainty, youth feel a loss of confidence in their ability to plan their future. The pandemic has shown us that our world needs phenomenal leaders that create real paths to hope. The epitome of a phenomenal leader is their belief and consistent behaviors that give power to those around them and those they serve. This requires us to rethink hierarchical and top-down pyramid and behave in ways that place everyone as having equal value. What would the world look like if we see ourselves as part of a great constellation and if we saw each other as stars, each brilliant, each with their own special light and the power to eliminate their part of the universe? With this lens, we would learn to see the value in others and grow together. We know from experience when given the power to speak and be heard, we are incredibly grateful, emboldened, and strengthened. With this empathy, women in political leadership have an opportunity to give others the power to be heard and empowered, especially young people. This idea can be found in Ambassador Matthew Barzan's new book, The Power of Giving Away Power. He reminds us that we need a big boat to hop in with older, wiser people that we can learn from. And then we need to hop in with a little boat, with younger people, so that we can help them row. This ability to go between worlds is what makes a phenomenal leader, dedicated to service. We thrive when we help others. That is what is needed from a political leadership. And this is the opportunity for women, especially who are distinctly wired to cultivate hope. There are three key value-driven behaviors that are fundamental to building a world where leadership action directly empowers young people. Practice radical listening. Educator Parker Palmer talks about listening with whole sight. He means listening with both the rationality and reason of eyesight with the compassion and love of the eye of the heart. Two, give youth seats at every table to design solutions that serve their needs and then empower and place them in positions to implement their needs. Three, give away your power. It means our individual power is only as great as the empowerment we can give to those we serve. After all, all boats rise with the tide. I look forward to seeing what boats rise from your leadership with heart, body, mind, and soul. I'll be rowing hard with you. Thank you very much.